Well, what's going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be my sixth Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to delete data from an SQL database. So if you want to tie it into the previous tutorials that I've done, for example you could make like a view data application like the one we did in the previous tutorial and take and then get the user to view the data in a table and then you could prompt the user to delete an entry. So I'm just going to show you kind of the bare bones how to just delete something. So delete data we'll call it. First thing we'll do is import the SQL library and scanner library. I don't remember it. Let's take it out. why it does that? Somebody leave a comment and tell me because I can't figure it out. Every time it automatically gets rid of my um, bracket there. So import the scanner. And I know I'm going to need a try catch. And it's going to be a print. Actually, I'll just put the exception here first. Um, SQL exception. copy from over here because I don't want to type it out and test database yep and then use our driver manager and pass the URL username and the password then we're going to want to prompt the user enter Person you want to remove. Okay, yeah, so how I'm going to do it is if you take a look at this table. Every user has an ID, and so that's how we're going to refer to what we want to delete. So it's just going to prompt the user to enter the ID of the person you want to remove, and it will remove that person. So integer ID will equal scan.next int and create our query. So delete from test table, which is our table, where id equals id. Oh, I don't know what a string string is. Better make that a string. And so then we need a statement. Create statement and statement dot execute. Pass the query. And statement close and connection close. And that should be all there is to it. Let's run it and give it a go. So enter the ID of the person you want to remove. Let's remove um, let's remove Vinny here, number eight. So type number eight. And then we'll take a look at the database. And Vinny's gone. So there's a quick tutorial on how to remove data from a database. So you guys can see pretty easily how to integrate this into like the view data example that I did in the last tutorial. You could very easily just prompt the user after showing the contents of a table which what they want to delete and you can easily remove data. So that's it for this tutorial and I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my mailing list if you want to take, uh, get notified when new tutorials come out. Just go to my website and type your email in here. I don't spam, I just basically send an email out every time I post a new tutorial. So if you ever want to get notified, that's the way to do it. As always, thanks for watching.